Moin and welcome to another video of Vagante. And this is Alpha 5. Actually, Alpha 5 has been out already for a few weeks, and uh, I just read a tweet that Alpha 6 is pretty close to coming out, and which will have a massive update. Um, more features, I don't know exactly what, but yeah, that sounds really exciting. But yeah, I, w this, I wanted just to show you Alpha 5 in comparison to Alpha 4, and then we'll, next video will be Alpha 6, most likely. Um, let's see how far we'll get. Um, I will stay with the uh, melee guy, since I feel much better with him. So in the beginning, we got to run in here, and one big change is that we don't get a choice of an affinity point right in the beginning. And there's a in the top you see a, a yellow bar, and that's actually experience, which you get by killing enemies. And when that bar is full, and you come to the exit, then you get your affinity point. So, and as soon as you defeat the, the boss of the level, you, the bar fills up. Um, but you may be, be able to get enough experience from... two... levels. Okay, so the bar just filled up. And that means the boss just killed himself somehow. Um, I want to get the bone sword. So, oh, <laughs> let's get that cap and then get the sword. So we were lucky; we didn't have to fight here the, uh, which I assumed was the goblin boss. The big difference is that we don't have the advantage of the the drop down attack right in the beginning, which is a good nerf because it felt it felt a bit OP in my opinion. Um, so I think that's a good thing. Um, now let's get that cap just for the and somehow strange is that you can't pick it up anymore from the table, so you have to jump up. Which I find a bit strange. So we'll just get here and see how much that costs now. 26, perfect. Let's uh, find a few enemies to get those coins. I'm somehow glad we didn't have we don't have to fight um, the goblin boss because he is one of the more I f fi personally I think he's the more difficult guy uh, to defeat. Like in the beginning, I thought like the snake was really the the strongest, the snake boss. But right now, after playing so much off camera, I've been playing this a lot. Um, I really find the snake boss is easy to defeat. Um, so the only reason I can think of that the boss died was that he triggered some kind of trap which dropped uh, a rock on him and that killed him because he will destroy spikes so can't be the spikes um, let's get that and we can take off the hat because actually it's not very useful and we can use the sword it's a bit slower, but it does quite a bit more damage, so I'm happy. Uh, let's see. Um. Okay. Oh. Ah! No! No, 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 no! What's happening? Ah! Oh, that does quite the damage. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, no health potion. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. Um, how come that we... Oh, okay, we just took that potion, so that's why we just did 12. Oops, no, I'm not good. Really, this is not a really good run by me this time. But we're getting it. Alright. Thank God for the feather falling. <laughs> And the with the feather fall fall with the feather falling, you also don't take damage when you float, because then you float on spikes. But at least we didn't get any damage from the traps. Yet. Okay. Um. I really don't like the staffs yet. So. Oh, it was a dragon. Interesting. And why don't we trigger the traps? Oh, because there are no traps? Just pressure blades. That is weird. So, you see that the game isn't really polished. But yeah, as I said, next update will be great. Excited about that. And, um,. On a other related note, there is a new game that uh, Destin showed me, which is in, on early access. It is called Forsaken Island, and it also has <laughs> amazing pixel art. It's very interesting to play. Um, it does, however, oh, where am I going? Have a little has a little unbalanced food system um, whereas I'm surviving on on pineapples and I'm just harvesting my tomatoes and I have over 1.5k or something oops, you know, of tomatoes and yeah it feels unbalanced it feels unbalanced but it's, it's earned access and it won't be the final game, but I'm excited for the for the update of this. It's only three pounds. That's around four euros, and three pounds is six dollars. So yeah, that's the minimum price right now. Ah, uh, crap. <sighs> okay, let's go again. And, um, yeah, it's really nice. Just Google for it. You might find it. I'm not sure. I, oh, I just put a link in the, in the description below, if I remember. Okay. So I haven't set a timer right now, but... For this. But I guess... Let's see how far we get. Go. Oh, good. A fairy. Oops, wrong time to take that. Ah, uh, not a dragon. Okay, that's okay. If we find some kind of buff, uh, which will help us out, then. Uh, hmm. <laughs> There we go. Uh, this, please. No, don't anger the shopkeeper. Ooh, loads of regen. That's good. That's no. The the regen they heal thirty. Okay, we found the exit. Can we find some? I guess that will help. Come on. There we go.
take that, man. Whoop. Ooh. We might be able to do this. Let's take a, a potion. Ah! No! Sorry, I'm a bit quiet, concentrating. Ah. I'm actually glad we found that bow. It's helping out quite a bit. Take it! Die! There we go. Cool. And as you just saw, the experience bar just filled up. So, oh, bomb! No, that means we now. I'm not going there. <laughs> no. This means we'll be able to open that chest up there. What do you have? No, nothing very interesting. But let's take that. Um, and the good we have a bomb can, if we're lucky and aim correctly, find a good, easy way to kill the goblin boss. Um, oh yeah, the fairy, right? Yeah. Oh, was it this level? Yes, I see. Right, it was this level. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Um, the fairy will give us. 30 more HP plus raise our max health by 30. Um, oh yeah, considering health, health is that sometimes when you have a a, a weapon which gives you more health and you unequip it, you lose that health. Uh, that's a little buggy. Okay, now we can take um, our affinity, and I'll take that one because. The sword down attack is really useful. Alright. Uh, that's a stupid one. And poof. Oh. Pogo stick! Oh, okay. Come on. There we go. Hate those fire. And I, I actually. With, with playing so much of Alpha 5, I stopped using this drop down for attacking enemies because you're oh, you often play the first round a lot and um, you don't have the ability of using that. So I tend not to use it like as soon as I actually can use it, which is a bit. St it's an interesting um, development. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Attract the Zubat <laughs> and take elbow and go. No, don't die here. Disappointing, disappointing. Well. I guess you saw the, the the little changes towards the other to Alpha 4. So yeah, this was a Vagante Alpha 5, which were two pretty bad runs. Yes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, put a thumbs up, but uh, um, and put a thumbs down if you did not. And if not, then yeah, leave a comment, because interacting with my video really helps me out and gets the video out and lets me, gets me known on, on YouTube, which is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you want to see more of my stuff, then go and subscribe, please. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.